So this week we have seen a police officer cleared of a potential murder charge for shooting a career criminal, Chris Caba. Narrative portrayed by the media and the black community is that he was a good guy and he, he didn't do anything bad and he didn't deserve this, blah, 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 blah. A couple of days before Andy was shooting people at a nightclub and he's part of a criminal gang and he's just got, a, his entire history is about crime essentially. But the police have to do better. That's right, that's the narrative, is that the, the police have to do better. This isn't good enough. It's, it's racist, it's, it's white supremacist, well, all the, the usual, the usual is and isms. Nobody's saying that when it comes to Peter Lynch, though. Nobody's saying that, you know, the, the Crime Prosecution Service shouldn't be putting non-violent criminals uh, in jail and, and, and saying that they need to be doing better. No, they're saying if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. So it's fine for one man to have this, but not the other man. And the difference is this: the difference in this is the ethnicity of the people involved. We see uh, again in in Walsall, a woman, uh, Rhiannon White, has been murdered, murdered by a man believed to be uh, an immigrant from Sudan, a man whose first act when he came into this country was one of illegality. He's now apparently killed a woman, as this papers report, because of an argument over biscuits. Nobody's telling migrants and supposed asylum seekers down on their luck. Oh, it's terrible. They've come from war-torn countries and they're murdering people over biscuits. Nobody's telling them to do better. No, nobody's telling them to do better because the ethnicity of the woman who was killed. And then we hear the story uh, going through the courts in a minute of Sarah Sharif, I think she was a 10-year-old girl, murdered by her father. And her family tried to flee, I believe, to Pakistan after murdering their own daughter. And it, it wasn't just an accident. This had been a, a long period of abuse that this girl had suffered, uh, judging by her injuries. Nobody's telling them to do better. Nobody's telling them to do better at all. Why not? Ethnicity. Two-tier justice system in this country, absolutely, everybody can see it. But it's two-tier everything. And our ethnicity, our group, the English, the Welsh, the Scots, the ethnic Brits, we are on the receiving end of this. And this will carry on until we stand up and we say no. And there's only one way to do that, and that is through sensible nationalism, getting involved in politics, and taking the power away from these people. If we do not take the power from them, they will continue to use it against us. So there is one course of action. It's the only course of action if you want all this to stop. Join the Homeland Party, and we'll put an end to it all.